नमामि शराम सा चिदानंद रूपम लसत कुंडलम गो कुले भ्रजमाना मध्य लीला चैप्टर 22 वर्स 127 सर्वता शरणापत्ति कार्तिक आदि व्रता चतुहु चष्टी अंगा ए परमा मगत्वा सर्वता शरणापत्ति कार्तिक आदि व्रता सर्वता शरणापत्ति कार्तिक आदि व्रता चदुषष्टि अंगये परम मगत्वा सर्वता शरणापत्ति कार्तिक आदि व्रता चदुषष्टि अंगये परम मगत्वा सर्वता शरणापत्ति कार्तिक आदि व्रता शादुषष्टि अंगये परमा मगत्वा Anybody wants to recite? Sarvata sarana patti karti kadi vrata Sadhu sashta yangaye parama mahatva Sarvata sarana patti karti kadi vrata Sadhu sashti yangaye parama mahatva any matajis? Sarvata sarana patti kartika di vrata Sadhu sashta angaye parama magatva Sarvata in all respects Sarana apatti Surrender Kartika adi vrata to observe special vows in the month of Kartika. Chadu Shashti Anga. 64 parts. A. This. Parama Magatva. Very important items. Translation. By His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Medha Swami Shila Prabhupada. Shila Prabhupada ki. One should surrender to Krishna in all respects. One should observe particular vows like Kartika Vrata. These are some of the 64 important items of devotional service. So there is no purport to this verse, so we will discuss on this verse uh, further. Oma Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Anjana Shalakaya Sakshur Unmalitam Yena Chakmai Shri Guru Venamaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Tadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Uta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavamsha Shri Rupam Sagarajatam Sagagana Raghunathan Vitam Tamsa Jeevam Sadvaidam Savadutam Svarvajana Sagitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sagagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitamsha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sharashwati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Desha Tarine Vancha Kalpatarubhyascha Krupa Sindhubhya Evacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gauratishvena Maha Panjatatvatmakam Krishnam Bhaktarupa Swarupakam Bhaktavataram Bhaktakyam Namami Bhaktashaktikam He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Haripriye Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda 
ಶ್ರೀ ಅಡ್ವೈದ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪಿಷಿಯಸ್ ಡೇ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ತಿಕ್ ಮಂತ್ ಅಥವಾ ಶರತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಚರಿತಾಮೃತ ಸೊ ಚೈತ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಚರಿತಾಮೃತ ಇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗೌಡಿ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಸೀ ದಟ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣದಾಸ್ ಕವಿರಾಜ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಯು ನೋ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸನಾತನ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಬೈ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಲಾಬ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ನೈಸ್ಲಿ ಬೈ ಶಿಲ ರೂಪ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇನ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ರಸಾಮೃತ ಸಿಂಧು ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಭಕ್ತಿ ರಸಾಮೃತ ಸಿಂಧು ಲಿಟ್ರೇಚರ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಭಕ್ತಿ ದ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಯು ನೋ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಅನಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವೇದಿಕ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ರೂಪ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸನಾತನ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಗೇವ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಅನಲೈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಸ್ಕ್ರೂಟನೈಸಿಂಗ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ ದ ವೇದಿಕ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ದ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಅಥಾರಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕಲಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ನನ್ನ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಬೃಂದಾವನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕವೇಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಫಾರ್ಗಾಟನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ಶಿಲ ರೂಪ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಅನ್ನ ಸನಾತನ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕವೇಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಹೋಲಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಯು ನೋ ಆಲ್ ದ ಹೋಲಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ವ್ಯಾರಿಯಸ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೂ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ಗೆಟ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವೇದಿಕ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಅನಲ ಅನಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ರೂಪ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸನಾತನ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮೀಸ್ ದ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ತತ್ವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಥಾರಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ರೂಪ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಹೆಡ್ ವೆಡ್ ಎನ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಭಕ್ತಿ ರಸಾಮೃತ ಸಿಂಧು ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ರಸಾಮೃತ ಸಿಂಧು ಸಿಂಧು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಓಷನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ನೆಕ್ಟೋರಿ ನೆಕ್ಟೇರಿಯನ್ ಓಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಪ್ರೋಪ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಓಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ರಸ ಓಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಸ ಸೊ ಓಷನ್ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಈಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸದರ್ನ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾರ್ದರ್ನ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ರೂಪ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ರಸಾಮರ್ತ ಸಿಂಧು ಇಂಟು ಫೋರ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಹಿ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಹಿ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಮ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸದರ್ನ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಈಚ್
in the 64 items is this uh, particular instruction. One should observe particular vows like Kartike Vrata. Hmm? So this is the instruction given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Rupa Goswami had elaborated this in Bhakti Rasamrat Sindhu. To in, in order to understand this Krishna Bhakti, specifically if one has to enter into Vrindavana, the past times of Radha and Krishna in Vrindavana, if one has to understand, one has to follow in the footsteps of the six Goswamis. Narutamada Thakur had written a bhajan, Gauranga Bolite Habe, in that, in that bhajan. I thought if you have you know, the projector, I will play that bhajan. So, so in that bhajan, Narutamada Thakur says, if one has to enter into Sri Vrindavan Dham, if one has to understand the pastimes of Radha and Krishna, one has to follow the footsteps of the six Goswamis. Specifically, the literature given by them, one has to study and the instruction given by the Guru Parampara, the previous Acharyas, they have to follow this instruction. Until somebody does that, the mysteries of Radha and Krishna's pastimes will not be revealed. One cannot understand. You know. Of all the Vedic literature, you know, the most esoteric or most difficult to understand is Krishna's pastime. Specifically Krishna's pastimes in Vrindavan Dham. Hmm? It is, uh, people can easily misunderstand. So if one has to understand the pastimes of Krishna, one has to follow the footsteps of six Goswamis. That's why Krishna Daskaraja Goswami says, Krishna consciousness entitles this five things, six things. Krishna Tattva, Bhakti Tattva, Prema Tattva Sara, Bhava Tattva Rasa Tattva and Leela Tattva Ara. Krishna consciousness means understanding the truth of Krishna, the truth of devotional service, the truth of love of Godhead, the truth of emotional ecstasy, the truth of transcendental mellows and the truth of the pastimes of the Lord. So the six items, what Krishna conscious means, when we say simply Krishna conscious means, one has to understand these six items. Krishna Tattva, who is Krishna? Hmm? That is very nicely elaborated when you study Srimad Bhagavatam, systematically Bhagavatam establishes. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Ete Chamsa Kalapamsa Krishnastu Bhagavan Swayam Indrari Vyakulam Lokam Radhyanti Mrughe Mrughe It is mentioned in the third chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, after Sutta Goswami describes the various avatars, various incarnations. In that he includes the incarnation of Krishna also. Krishna and Balaram also included. But after sending, saying the list, he mentions this verse. Ete chamsa kalapamsa krishnastu bhagavan svayam. All the above mentioned incarnations are all either preliminary portions of the Lord or portions of the preliminary portion of the Lord. That's what he is telling. All of them are avatars or expansions of the avatars. But Krishna is Swayam Bhagavan. So the word but, tu means but. Whenever the word but is used, so there is a change in category. Hmm? When we say, if we go to a, a function, a government function, prime minister, and all the various ministers, all the important dignitaries are there in that function. Somebody might say, all these people are important people. But, he is the prime minister. Hmm? But, he is the prime minister. All these people in this room are important. But, he is the prime minister. What does it mean? All these people are important dignitaries. When we use the word, but... There is a change in category. When you say, but he is the Prime Minister, even though he is also one of the important person, but he is not like others. Huh? He is the topmost. Hmm? So that needs to be understood. So Bhagavatam systematically establishes, especially Jiva Goswami in his Satsandarbha. 
systematically he writes six essays on this shrimad bhagavatam how to study shrimad bhagavatam what are the teachings of shrimad bhagavatam and what are the teachings of chaitanya mahaprabhu and then he establishes through these six books shad sandarbha that the teachings of shrimad bhagavatam and teachings of chaitanya mahaprabhu are one and the same in that the first book tatva sandarbha he established the truth how to understand truth second is bhagavad sandarbha third is paramatma sandarbha in the fourth book krishna sandarbha specifically he establishes krishna is the source of all incarnation krishna is not just an avatar hmm? krishna is the avatari he is the source of all incarnation hmm? krishna consciousness means one has to understand krishna tattva how to understand this krishna tattva when we study shrimad bhagavatam under the guidance of na guru parampara especially the gaudiya vaishnava parampara when we study in the light of the six goswamis works we can understand krishna is the supreme personality of godhead hmm? so bhakti tattva so once understood krishna is the supreme personality hmm? this first four books all the vedic literature ca- can be classified into three categories you know, sambandha gyan abhideya gyan and prayojana gyan sambandha means the relationship relationship between who and who the lord and the jeevas the living entities ishvara and jeeva krishna and the living entities who is krishna and who is jeeva and what is this material world what is the connection between all this all this that is sambandha gyan the first four books of jeeva goswami sandarbhas deals with sambandha gyan the fifth book is bhakti sandarbha is abhideya gyan abhideya gyan means the process to realize that relationship once we understand krishna is the supreme personality of godhead we are all eternal servants we are all part and parcel of the supreme and purpose of the part is to serve the whole this is the sambandha gyan how to realize this we understand from the book that we are all part and parcel of krishna our eternal duty is to serve him how to realize that relationship how to realize our constitutional position that is understood by abhideya abhideya gyan so that book is called bhakti sandarbha hmm? so this, this abhideya gyan is the one the abhideya is the process given by rupa goswami in bhakti bhakti samarth sindhu hmm? through devotion process of devotional service the 64 items when one executes the 64 items of devotional service carefully under the guidance of a bona fide spiritual master coming in the guru parampara one can actually understand realize this knowledge of what who i am and who is krishna so when we realize that relationship what is the ultimate goal that is prayojan gyan hmm? pure love for krishna prema for krishna that is explained in preeti sandarbha by jeeva goswami hmm? so that is also the preeti the prema is also mentioned by rupa goswami in bhakti samrata sindhu in the uh, western section hmm? so all the divisions of devotional service sadhana bhakti bhava bhakti and prema bhakti he describes and then when somebody comes up to the level of prema all the different rasas one experience different types of emotions one experiences with krishna in relationship all those rasa tattva is also explained and the prema tattva is also explained and then leela tattva specifically if we take leela tattva krishna's leela in vrindavana all the avatars all the incarnations when they descend come into this material world they enact past times leela avatars are there no kurma matsya varaga vamana narasimha they all come and enact past times of all the avatars all the krishna has the 64 qualities of the 64 qualities all the different forms of the lord all of them has the 64 qualities but they do not exhibit all of them but only krishna exhibits all of them specifically the last four 
is not exhibited by any other forms of the lord when he comes to enact past times the acharya has explained this four items are this leela madri rupa madri and bhakta madri and venu madri these four items are unique to krishna specifically krishna's past times no other if you read read ramayan you will see the valorous past times of lord ram but you will not see much about krishna's uh, rama lord rama's balya leela not much little bit hmm? but whereas krishna's past times in vrindavana when he was a small baby from you know day 1 till until he becomes a youth all this past times of krishna in vrindavana is elaborately described this is something unique to krishna when somebody hears this krishna's past times in vrindavan once you know the dormant devotional service once love for krishna gets awakened so that's why krishna enacts this past time when he comes into this material world so he enacts this past time to give pleasure to the devotees and for the condition souls he enacts this past time so that they, so that they can get attracted towards his lotus feet so that they can come back to spiritual world so this is the reason he enacts this past times specifically krishna's balya leela is very unique and very 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 sweet so one acharya the shri vishnu sampradaya explains one time when yashoda mai is is like want to chastise krishna krishna did some mischief and yashoda mai is chasing krishna and krishna was running away from mother yashoda terrified that if she catches me she is going to punish me at that time when he was running and he saw there is one old gentleman there is one old devotee sitting there he was not simply sitting hmm? next to him there is a pot there is a big pot which is used for yogurt keeping yogurt that pot is there and krishna runs away from mother yashoda and comes to this old devotee and then he tells please protect me please protect me give me shelter and this old devotee gets bewildered what shelter i cannot give any shelter so no no my mother is chasing me please protect me please give me shelter so, there is no place i cannot give any shelter i cannot do anything krishna says see see that yogurt pot i'll get inside and i'll put me under the under, underneath the pot and then you sit on top of it so that when mother yashoda comes huh she will not be able to find out so then this devotee okay he agrees and then krishna goes under the pot and and this devotee covers krishna with that pot and takes sits on top of the pot and mother yashoda comes and she is ask this person did he see krishna running she sees that this person is sitting on top it looks like suspicious something but still she asked the question did you see krishna and this devotee said who is krishna i don't know who is krishna like that he says and she realizes maybe he doesn't know and mother yashoda leaves after mother yashoda leaves and krishna getting suffocated inside the pot he is telling the person please let me out please let me out he said that cannot be easily done i am we, we we need some dealings we need some transaction here you wanted me to protect you i protected you i had given what you wanted now you need to give me what i want then only i let you get out are baba i am inside the pot i cannot give you anything please let me out first no no i know who you are <coughs> krishna i know who you are here is the deal you give me liberation i'll free you from this situation from the pot are that doesn't look fair to get me out of this buttermilk pot you want liberation so many yogis are for several lifetimes they are trying to perfect their life they are looking for liberation they cannot get easily and you are looking for liberation just like that i know it might be difficult but this is the deal if you give me liberation i will let you out shri jagannath bladeshwar ramai ki jai otherwise i cannot do anything 
So then Krishna finally agrees, okay, I'll give you liberation. Let me out. Then this devotee says, who is the cause of your liberation, your shelter? Me. Huh? Who is the cause of my liberation? You. How did I get that liberation? Because of this part. No, I want liberation for this part also. I want liberation for this part also. Krishna says, Are Baba, non-living things cannot get liberation. What is this new thing you are asking? Only living entities ask for liberation. You are asking for this mud part. You are asking liberation for this part. That cannot be given. No, no, nothing doing. If you give liberation to the part, then I will let you out. Otherwise, no. So then it's mentioned that Krishna agreed to liberate this part also. It is mentioned in the spiritual world that part still exists for this pastimes. To remind this pastime. Acharya is right like that. Krishna's pastime in Vrindavan are very sweet. To understand this pastimes, you know, when somebody reads this pastimes, they look like very cute and sweet. But if they don't understand the tattva behind, truth behind Krishna, one can easily misunderstand. Oh, this looks like maybe some naughty child or maybe intelligent child or maybe very beautiful child like that. So that is why Krishna's pastimes are mentioned in the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. After understanding the 9 cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam, hmm, various aspects of how the universe is created, the primary creation, Sarga, how Krishna created all the ingredients required to manifest this material world, Krishna creates. And then next Brahma creates from this primary ingredients, the secondary creation, Visarga, Sthana, Poshana, Utaya, Manvantara, Ishanukata, Nirukti and Mukti. And then Ashraya, Supreme Shelter. These 10 topics of Bhagavadam is systematically propounded. After studying all the 9 cantos of Bhagavadam, when we come to the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavadam, one can understand Krishna's pastimes. Otherwise, one can, one might get interested, but may not realize who Krishna is. One might take simply, Krishna is an ordinary person. That's why so many scholars, when they read Bhagavadam, there are big, big scholars who study Bhagavadam and get PhD. But they do not become devotee of Krishna. They become expert in writing, you know, literatures. They are expert in writing, you know, theses. They might know all the grammatical understanding, all these different aspects of Bhagavadam. But they will not understand the truth behind Srimad Bhagavadam. Until we understand Krishna Tattva, Krishna's pastimes, you know, does not purify us sufficiently. It will purify. Anybody hears Krishna's pastime, it will purify them. But they will not attain the ultimate goal, love for Krishna completely. So that is why this Bhakti Tattva, devotional service in practice needs to be understood as given by the Acharyas. That needs to be done under the guidance of a bona fide spiritual master. So one has to take the first item in the 64 items of Bhakti is Gurupada Ashraya taking shelter of a bona fide spiritual master coming in the disciplic succession. After taking shelter from the spiritual master, one should surrender to him and should request him to get by initiated by him. After getting initiated by him, one should inquire from him how to discharge devotional service. So like that, the 64 items are mentioned. This 59th item is the topic of discussion today. Like Vrata, like Kartik Vrata, one has to perform. So, what is this Kartik Vrata? This month Kartika, so in, in, in the Vedic tradition, the 12 months, 12 lunar months. So, when the moon is going around the constellation, the, the whole sky, this 360 degree constellation, is divided into 27 nakshatra divisions. And then again, this 27 divisions, so it's grouped into 12 divisions. 12 months. When, some, when the moon moves from one constellation to another constellation, different months are given. So in each one of this constellation, 
there is one prominent nakshatra when moon is in that particular constellation based on the nakshatra name the month name is given so this kartika month when moon enters the constellation of kritika nakshatra that month is called kartika month this kartika month is the last month of this chaturmasya chaturmasya is the four months of the rainy season when the sages normally they travel usually they travel to emanate disseminate the spiritual knowledge to common mass of people but during this four months of chaturmasya because it's rainy season it is very difficult to travel so they stay in one place and perform bhajana of this four months the last month is called kartika month so in the vaishnava sampradaya for every one of this month there is also one krishna's name is there the current month ashwina month ashwin month is represented by padmanabha the kartika month is represented by damodara lord chaitanya tells this to uh, sanatana goswami in madhyalila that every one of this month yeah, there is a predominating deity represents the month of ashwina is represented by padmanabha and then month of kartika is represented by damodara and this damodara is not radha damodara it's not the son of magaraj nanda so in the spiritual world there are 24 forms of 400 forms of krishna the narayana forms the primary 24 forms of narayana according to the shanga chakra gada padma in which hand it is placed there are 24 expansions are there out of the 24 expansion there are 12 expansions represents this 12 months this damodara is actually the 400 form of krishna that's what that krishna, this damodara means so every one of the month represents one of the 400 forms of vishnu but krishna is the source of all the vishnu krishna is the original narayana he is the adi narayana that's what brahma says in the 10th canto of shrimad bhagavatam so but this month damodara for gaudiya vaishnavas hmm? this damodara month or the kartika month one does not follow the vrata properly then the chaturmas all the four chaturmasya is becomes useless that's what the scripture says sanatan goswami in this bhakti hari bhakti vilasa very nicely elaborated the importance of kartik vrata so rupa goswami in bhakti rasamrita sindhu says one should follow the kartik vrata vrata like kartik vrata one should follow and how to follow the details of following how to follow the kartik vrata that is elaborated by sanatan goswami in hari bhakti vilasa one whole chapter is dedicated for this glorifying this vrata of this kartika month damodar month so this called uh, kartika mahatmya that chapter in that he mentions if does not follow basically he is scrutinously studying brahma vaivarta purana patma purana and various puranas brings references if one does not follow this kartika vrata properly then all the four chaturmasi vrata is not effective so this damodara month everybody should follow this vrata anybody who is in the vedic you know sanatana dharma they should follow the chaturmasya and kartik vrata they should follow specifically for devotees of krishna krishna is also called bhakta vatsala bhakta vatsala means one vatsala vatsa means calf you know how for a cow the calf is so important it protects it nourishes like that krishna is bhakta vatsala he is very very fond of his devotees he wants to protect and nourish the devotee he is always very very fond of his devotees also vatsa means acharya explains dear to heart heart dear to heart so for lord damodara the devotees are very dear to him similarly the acharya has explained this damodara month is very dear to the devotees when the devotees perform any vrata any little bit of devotional service in this month 
it gets magnified it gets magnified into many many times it's called urja vrata urja means it's very powerful so rupa goswami mentions in the bhakti rasamrita sindhu there is a verse ata urja daro yata padme yata damodara bhakta vatsalo vidito janaihi tasya tasyayam tadrasho masa svalpam api urukarakah it is mentioned observing urja vrata from the padma purana it is mentioned just as men know that damodara is affectionate to his devotee the damodara mantri is also affectionate to the devotee even a little service performed during that month yields great results how krishna is always looking for opportunity to bestow his mercy on the living entity any little bit of service somebody does whether knowingly or unknowingly krishna wants to benedict give his mercy to that person similarly this damodara month is very glorious it is looking it is looking for an excuse to give benediction to the devotee even if they do little bit of service oh i am indebted to that person so to reciprocate to pay the indebt to pay the debt i will reciprocate and what is the result very 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 many fold results than bhakti what we do normally any little bit of vrata one performs in this kartike month the results are many fold so that's what you know all the scriptures say and that's what the acharyas explain this damodara month is very damodara month the devotees are very dear to damodara month always looking for opportunity to give this benediction a devotee does little bit of seva it is mentioned also in this hari bhakti vyasa rupa goswami explains from the puranic story how this damodara month is glorious or very magnificent that one time there was one brahmana his name is vaikuntha vaikuntha brahmana he went to a vishnu temple on this kartika month and he offered a ghee lamp after offering ghee lamp to vishnu deity and he placed that lamp in front of the deity then a mouse happened to come in generally mouses are attracted they like always to try to taste oily substances so they like ghee so they eat the mouse tried to come and try to drink the ghee from the ghee lamp when it is trying to drink the ghee lamp ghee from the ghee lamp the ghee wig got stuck in its mouth because it's fire it got scared and started jumping up and down and finally the mouse died because of the fire and krishna saw this when this mouse was jumping up and down with this fire the the ghee wig with the lit ghee wig in the mouth krishna took it that as this mouse is offering aarati to me in the month of kartika hence krishna said it awarded i will award you highest destination for you so there are many versions of the story mentioned in the puranas other version is that you know the mouse you know after offering this escaped from the fire and then later it got eaten by a snake then yamaraj yamadutas came and then vishnu dutas came and stopped the yamadutas and then they said the glories of damodar month because this mouse offered you know ghee wig ghee lamp to krishna then it is not actually qualified to go to yamaloka so it is qualified to go to higher planets it then it took a it took a very uh, human birth very nice human birth and it completed its devotional service the other story is that it didn't catch the fire it tried to drink the ghee while trying to drink the ghee it moved the ghee wig little bit because the ghee wig was about to go off when the ghee was about to go off this mouse when it tried to drink the ghee it moved the wig little bit and then the wig started glow- glowing again krishna took that as a devotional service and then gave the benediction highest destination for that mouse so like that it is mentioned so one might think prabhu ji i have been offering damodar month this ghee lamp every year for so many years i am not getting liberated what is this is this an exaggeration rupa goswami explains no this is not an exaggeration you know this is not an exaggeration 
these principles may not happen to everybody it might have happened it not it is not a generic principle it might be a specific principle it may not happen to us in the same way but the results the benefits are there for to attain love of krishna hmm? rupa goswam explains one should not think that this is an exaggeration from the puranas it is not hmm? so this damodar month when somebody performs this vrata and the damodar month so the benefits are manifold also the name kartika month the div acharyas explain it's also called kritike kumari you know it represents kritike kumari who is kritike kumari shrimati radharani radharani's mother is kirtida and kirtida's daughter shrimati radharani is also called kirtika and this month also represents radharani and this is radharani's month when somebody performs some devotional service radharani is very pleased in awarding spiritual benefit to the devotee now what vrata to perform in this month so that actually elaborates you know uh, sanatan goswami explains so many things there are so many aspects of performing this vrata you know offering ghee lamp to krishna deity specifically radha damodar you know or you know following the vrata of eating one meal a day or eating on a nam brahma tree leaves eating food only from that leaves or like not eating certain items you know sesame and you know, brinjal and all those things are avoided so like that there are so many different details are given also in the same in a scripture quoting from various puranas sanatan goswami says only if one does not follow this vrata what happens they will attain lowest of the destination like that it is mentioned the reason what why it is mentioned that way is that for a materialistic person he doesn't have any interest in devotional service so the puranas inspire the materialistic person to do some devotional service to entice them with some material benefits that you will go to higher planets you will get this benefit that benefit and if you don't do you will go to lower planets no it mentions so that they will do some devotional service even unknowingly when unknowingly one performs devotional service it's called agyana sukriti this agyana sukriti actually awards devotional service eventually for that reason the scriptures might entice with some material benefits also whereas these are not applicable for a sadaka a practicing devotee the most important aspect of all the vrata in the kartik month is increasing our hearing and chanting increasing our hearing and chanting so we should hear the past times of krishna specifically we should read shrimad bhagavatam or we should read bhagavad gita you know sometimes devotees actually they have this program called chapter a day in silicon valley in san francisco in america his grace vaisheshiki prabhu had actually instituted a program called chapter a day chad it's called chad chapter a day every day one chapter of gita or one chapter of bhagavatam they recite hmm? so we take some vrata to increase our hearing and chanting we can increase the number of rounds we can chant we can increase the hearing of morning and evening we can hear krishna katha or we can read shrimad bhagavatam we can you know recite a chapter of bhagavad gita and if it is possible you know somebody can actually instead of sleeping in a bed can sleep on the floor getting up early in the morning attending mangala aarti you know all these things when devotee performs actually krishna is very pleased this damodara mantra is very very pleased and awards krishna bhakti you know krishna prema for the devotee so shila prabhupad in 1973 when he was coming to india i think 1972 i think yeah 72 so he wrote a letter to one of the devotee i am coming to india i am coming to vrindavana to perform this urja vrata so this month of kartik i would like to stay in vrindavan and perform this vrata and the devotee asked what is this urja vrata how to perform the devotee asked prabhupad prabhupad said urja vrata means 24 hours a day chanting the holy names of krishna no sleeping no food the devotee got bewildered can you do it prabhupad asked the devotee was like not sure he didn't know how to answer 
then Prabhupada laughed. You know, that is the highest standard. If one can perform, you know, that is great. If one cannot perform, whatever we can do to increase. You know, sometimes when devotees hear about the glories of Damodar month, they get over excited and commit, oh, I'm going to do this Prata for whole month. And they take a vow and then they will not be able to do it. That is not good actually. One should always commit to the vows means it should be up, uphold. We should follow the Whatever the commitment we make, we should fulfill. So whatever we can, according to our practical situation, we should, the, the main important point is hearing and improving the, or increasing the hearing and chanting. Shravanam and Kirtanam. On top of it, anything we can do. Some devotees actually don't eat sweets for one whole month. Or they eat one meal a day. You know. Something, whatever we can perform, we should decide. And if we observe, and Krishna is very pleased. And awards this, you know, the benefit to the devotee. This Damodara month also has many, many festivals. Starting from today, Sharad Purnima. Now, after the six seasons, the two seasons are very pleasing, very mild. Sharad, this fall season, autumn season. And then Vasanta, spring season. Because in the rainy season, it's too much of difficulty because of rain. In the summer season, too much heat. You know, in the winter season, it's too much cold. These two seasons are very pleasing. Two seasons are very pleasing. This Sharad Purnima is the first festival in the month of Kartika, Damodara. So we'll read a little bit, like maybe like you know, one or two paragraphs about Sharad Purnima from Prabhupada Krishna book. Because we should not enter into the pastimes of Krishna, especially this Rasa Panchadhyaya, without actually going through all the nine, all the ten cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam. So, but Prabhupada had given Krishna book. Krishna book can anybody can read. Because Krishna book does not, does not just describe the pastimes alone. Prabhupada actually injected the pastimes with philosophy also. So that one will not misunderstand. So this month of Kartika has many festivals. Starting from this Sharad Purnima and then Bhagulashtami, the appearance of Radha Kunda. So and then Diwali is the pastime on which Krishna you know, performed this Damodara pastime. And then Govardhan Puja, and then Gopashtami. So many, many festivals. And then, and then Bhishma Panchaka, the last five days, Bhishma Panchaka. For the devotees of Iskon, there is a very, very special festival in this month also. So Prabhupada's disappearance day. Hmm? So it's a very, very important festivals are coming. All these festivals, if we can follow nicely, we can increase our hearing and chanting. And Krishna is very pleased, Srimadhi Radharani is very pleased. And then they will award, you know, the pure devotional service unto us. So we'll read a little bit from, you know, that chapter 29. Introduction to, you know, this uh, Rasa pastimes. Chapter 29. The Rasa dance, introduction. In Srimad Bhagavadam, it is stated that the Rasa dance took place on the full moon night of Sharad season. From the statements of the previous chapters, it appears that the festival of Govardhana Puja was performed just after the dark moon night of the month of Kartika. And thereafter, the ceremony of Bratar Divitiya was performed. Then, the wrath of Indra was exhibited in the shape of torrents of rains and hailstones, and Krishna held up Govardhana hill for seven days until the ninth day of the moon. Thereafter, on the tenth day, the inhabitants of Vrindavana were talking amongst themselves about the wonderful activities of Sri Krishna. And the next day, Yagadashi was observed by Nanda Magaraja. On the next day, Dvadashi, Nanda Magaraja went to take bath in the Ganges and was arrested by one of the, one of the men of Varuna. Then he was released by Lord Krishna. Then Nanda Magaraja, along with cowherd men, was shown the spiritual sky. In this way, the full moon night of Sharad season came to an end. The full moon night of Ashwina is called Sharad Purnima. It appears from the statements of Srimad Bhagavadam that Krishna had to wait another year for such a moon before enjoying the Rasa dance with the gopis. At the age of seven years, he lifted Govardhana hill. Therefore, the Rasa dance 
took place during his eighth year. From the Vedic literature, it appears that when a theatrical actor dances among many dancing girls, the group dance is called a rasa dance. When Krishna saw the full moon night of the Sarath season, decorated with various seasonal flowers, especially the mallika flowers, which are very fragrant, he remembered the gopis' prayers to goddess Katyayani, wherein they prayed for Krishna to be their husband. He thought that full moon night of Sharad season was just suitable for a nice dance. So, their, their desire to have Krishna as their husband would then be fulfilled. The words used in this connection in Srimad Bhagavadam are Bhagavan Api. This means that although Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead and thus has no desire that needs to be fulfilled because he is always full with six opulences, he still wanted to enjoy the company of the gopis in the rasa dance. Bhagavan Api signifies that this dance did not like the ordinary dancing of young boys and young girls. The specific words used in Srimad Bhagavadam are Yoga Mayam Upashrataka, which means that this dancing with the gopis is on the platform of Yoga Maya, not Mahamaya. The dancing of young boys and girls within the material world is in the kingdom of Mahamaya or the external energy. The Rasa dance of Krishna with the gopis is on the platform of Yoga Maya. The difference between platforms of Yoga Maya and Mahamaya is compared in the Chaitanya Charitamrita to the difference between gold and iron. From the viewpoint of metallurgy, gold and iron are both metals. But the quality is completely different. Similarly, although the Rasa dance and Lord Krishna's association with the gopis appear like ordinary mixing of young boys and girls, the quality is completely different. The difference is appreciated by great Vaishnavas because they can understand the difference between love of Krishna and the lust. On the Mahamaya platform, dances take place on the basis of sense gratification. But when Krishna called the gopis by sounding his flute, they very hurriedly rushed towards the spot of rasa dance with a transcendental desire to satisfy Krishna. The author of the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Dasa Kaviraja Goswami, has explained that lust means sense gratification and love means, love also means sense gratification, but for Krishna. In other words, when activities are enacted on the platform of personal sense gratification, they are called material activities, but when they are enacted for the satisfaction of Krishna, they are spiritual activities. On, many, on any platform of activities, the principle of sense gratification is there. But on the spiritual platform, sense gratification is for the supreme personality of Godhead, Krishna. Whereas on the material platform, it is for the performer. For example, on the material platform, when a servant serves the master, he is trying to satisfy not the senses of his master, but rather his own senses. The servant would not serve the master if the payment is stopped. That means that servant engages himself in the service of the master just to satisfy his own senses. On the spiritual platform, however, the servitor of the Supreme Personality of Godhead serves Krishna without any payment. And he continues his service in all conditions. That is the difference between Krishna consciousness and material consciousness. You know, when we read... Uh, Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, especially the pastimes of Srila Madhavendra Puri, which is described in the Adilila. Now He is the founder Acharya of, of this Krishna Bhakti in Vrindavan. You know? So Madhavendra Puri's disciple is Ishwara Puri and Ishwara Puri is the one who initiated Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Madhavendra Puri, pastimes when we read, you know, how he engaged in devotional service. Hmm? When, he, when the Gopala deity was found and excavated and then was established and the opulent worship of you know, Abhishekam and all the offerings to Gopala deity was done. After that, Gopala deity mentioned to Madhavendra Puri that because of this summer heat, my body is actually, I am not able to tolerate the heat. It's burning too much. Because I have been under this 
no earth i have not worshiped for so many years so my body is actually it's like sun of fire to cool my body can you bring chandan from the malaya hills so when we understand this past time of madhavendra puri how he executed devotional service now the four principles are mentioned he executed devotional service under scarcity in spite of his personal discomfort he did the devotional service and then so many impediments now so many impediments was there for his devotional service so this principles are explained the devotional service in the mood of the vrindavana when we execute our the mood should be to please the master only in spite of any difficulty when there is scarcity no chandan was not available easily it was available far far away and then personal discomfort he has to travel himself to go and get it chandan and then so many impediments it was not easy in those days to bring chandan even if after acquiring chandan you cannot easily bring it here because there are so many different kingdoms you got to pay taxes and you got to come through this different kingdoms to bring to gopal this chandan hmm? so it's very difficult but the mood this is the mood of raja the gaudi vaishnavas are trying to discharge devotional service in the mood of rajabasis without expecting anything in return in spite of all the scarcities this is what you know gaudi vaishnava sampradaya is so bhagavatam is common to all the four sampradaya but chaitanya charitamrita is special to gaudiya sampradaya until we read shri chaitanya charitamrita until we read the works of goswa six goswamis we will not be able to understand the mood of rajabasis and to serve in the mood of rajabasis without expecting anything in return so that is what actually prabhupada is explaining in this rasa dance in the introduction he explains that the gopis were performing this dance for the pleasure of krishna nothing else so this is the mood of rajabasis so let's stop here so let's try to increase our you know chanting and hearing in this month of damodara and seek for the mercy of shri radha damodar so that we can actually advance in our spiritual uh, path also pray to all the devotees please give your blessings so that whatever i spoke i can apply in my life and i can also make advancement in the spiritual life hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare 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 krishna thank you very much any comments any discussions any questions if not we will go to the next part of the program hare krishna hare krishna